Thanks for checking out the Tokyo Bar 23 sneaker channel. Daily reviews every single day. I'm bringing you sneaker reviews absolutely guaranteed every single day. Five or ten minutes about upcoming sneaker releases and what's hot and what's not. So make sure you check out my content every single day. Today we're going to be looking at an Adidas sneaker. It's the Adidas Campus Forever Bicycle. As I said in the introduction, today it's all about an Adidas sneaker, the Adidas Campus Forever Bicycle. I try, I try, I really try to make sure that I bring you varied content and I really try to bring you Adidas and other brands as well, not just Nike. But the problem is, is that Nike are dropping like nine sneakers to every one of Adidas or one of Puma or other brands. So it's very, very difficult to bring you anything other than Nike. And I'm thrilled that Adidas have got this Adidas Campus Forever Bicycle out there that I can review for you guys and change it up a little bit from the usual Nike that I bring you every single day. And speaking of every single day, I want you guys to check in and hit me up for content every single day that I'm going to be bringing that to you. And the way to do that is to hit that notification bell down below and hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss out on one of my videos. There's nothing greater than having guys view my videos and watch that view count going up and watch that subscriber count going up. So I appreciate every single one of you. Moshi Tokyo Bar 23 no ego wa wakari nikui datara CC no button no click shitara ego no tango to ga ego no kotoba wa shita ni dette de sore o yomi nagara Tokyo Bar 23 no hanashi o kiku to wakari yasui to moimasu no de zehi CC button no click shite kudasai. All right, let's get into this Adidas Campus Forever Bicycle. And to do that, we're going to take a trip down memory lane. We're going to go back. We're going to go way back. We're going to go way, way back to when Tokyo Butter 23 did not have gray hair, when Tokyo Butter 23 had a really straight jawline, and when Tokyo Butter 23 was in the prime of his youth at high school. I went to Lawrence Hill Academy right here. This building no longer stands. They tore it down and built a whole new one. But all those years ago when I was at Lawrence Hill Academy, the sneakers that everybody wanted to get their hands on were the Adidas Gazelles and the Adidas Samba. The Adidas campus that are dropping real soon remind me of the time when I was at school and those Gazelles and those Sambas were really popular. And to be honest, this upcoming release of Forever Bicycle is a real banger. So let's have a look at what makes this sneaker pop. And the first thing we're going to look at is Terminator 2. Yes, that's right. I said Terminator 2. Again, it's another thing from my high school days, but it's a classic movie. So even right now, I'm sure there are people out there who still enjoy watching this. And the T-1000 was a character in that movie, which was made of liquid metal. Because he was made of liquid metal, he could move through the bars. And as he was chasing Sarah and John Connor, he did just that, as you can see in the still from the movie. But what happened was he was carrying a gun that wasn't made of liquid metal, and the director, James Cameron, what he had him do was get stuck on the gun, which was a really neat little thing in that movie. It would have been very easy for the T-1000 to just glide right through, get straight through and continue on the chase. But with that little tiny little addition, that little sort of attention to detail where the gun got stuck and the T-1000 kind of looks down at the gun with disdain, uh, those little things I really appreciate and I really appreciate them in sneakers and they are in this upcoming Adidas Campus release. There are two obvious places where the Forever Bicycle branding appears on this sneaker. The first is on the heel counter towards the back in a similar position to where the pigeon appears on the SB Dunk Lows. And the other fairly obvious place where you can see the branding is also on the insole. There are two pretty obvious places, the heel counter and the insole. Very obvious places where you can see branding on a sneaker, but the not so obvious place where you can see it in these campuses is in the shoelaces themselves. And that's that little addition, that T1 thousand from Terminator 2, that little addition, that tiny attention to detail that I just love on a sneaker. The laces of this Adidas Campus sneaker are absolutely popping and I absolutely love them. One other little piece of attention to detail that I really love on this sneaker is the Young Jiu branding where you'd normally see the word Campus beside the three stripe branding on the midfoot. It's another nice little touch that just adds a little bit of quality to the sneaker and adds a little bit of pop where you wouldn't normally see it. Looking at the rest of the sneakers, 
made from a really fine black soft suede material which is beautiful to the touch and an amazing material to make an upper from really nice and soft really nice to the touch and the final touch that really brings this sneaker together for me is the reflective materials throughout the heel tab on the back doesn't look particularly special it's a standard adidas heel tab but it is made from those reflective materials the three stripe branding on the midfoot which is again standard for adidas looks normal but again is made from those reflective materials and then the tongue itself with its branding at the top of the tongue again is made from reflective materials so those three together are going to help these sneakers pop at night time as much as they do in the day and with the white outsole down below unlike my recent review of the air jordan 4s where i did not like the gum sole on it i think the white outsole on these campuses really pops really works with the rest of the sneaker really brings it all together and makes an absolute cracking addition to the adidas line i do like to bring you a variety of sneakers and i was going to bring you a puma review today the puma cells that are dropping real soon but i just couldn't bring myself to do it. They're just too ugly. They're just too random. They just really don't fit my eye. So I'm sorry if you love your Puma out there or Puma as some people say, but I just do not dig that sneaker and I couldn't do a review of it. I'm glad that Adidas filled the void and came in with these campuses and I'm glad I get to review something for you today that is not Nike because recently Nike have been outselling just about any other sneaker brand by like 10 or 20 to one. So thank you Adidas for bringing me the sneaker that I can review for you today. Thanks for checking out my content today, guys, and watching my channel. I really appreciate when you subscribe. I really appreciate when you hit that like button down below. And I really appreciate it when you check in every single day for some of my sneaker content. Toroku shittari, ine o shittari, arigato gozaimasu. Mai nichi apsuru no de, mai nichi mite kudasai. I will be back tomorrow with another sneaker review at the Tokyo Butter 23 sneaker channel. Until then, it's farewell from Tokyo. Thank you for checking in today, guys. I really appreciate your being here and viewing my content. Over here, we have the channel subscribe button. Channel Toroku Zihi Onagaishimasu. Over here, we have the video I recommend you watch next. Kochira wa Osusumi des. And up here, we have a link to the channel introduction video. Kochira wa channel no profile no video des. Check them out. Clicking on them really helps the channel.